Kenyan tumbukiza. Tumbukiza is a Swahili word that means putting all your ingredients in one pot and cooking until everything is tender. For this recipe, I'm going to be using some beef and I have some osobuko and some steak over here. You can also use any meat that you have in the house. That is chicken, mutton or lamb. Yes. Also, I have a few vegetables over here. I have some spinach, tomatoes, onion, carrots and potatoes and you can include any vegetables that you have in the house because everything is prepped i'm going to start off by chopping my beef so i have a huge chunk of meat over here i'm going to use a very sharp knife and slice my meat into very large cubes and i and i'm going to be slicing against the grain of the meat so so that the meat can be very tender This is how my beef osobuko is looking like. As you can see, it has a bone in the middle and then it has some bone marrow, which is going to add lots of flavor to our tumbukiza. Once you're done chopping, you're going to place a pot or a pan of a high flame and add some cooking oil. I'm adding around three tablespoons of cooking oil. oil. In your cooking pot, you're going to place in your meat and sear both sides. That is going to create a lot of flavor for your tumbukiza. This is how the beef is looking like after searing for about a minute on one side. So I'm going to flip all the meat pieces and sear the other side for around a minute. Once the other side is seared, you're going to add in a beef stock cube. Add in some water. Then you're going to cover and let the beef cook until tender. That is going to take about 30 minutes to one hour. Also, if you have a pressure cooker, you can switch the pot with a pressure cooker and boil your meat until tender. That is going to take around five to 15 minutes. I have been boiling my meat for around an hour and a half and it's getting super tender. So I'm going to be adding in the rest of the ingredients. Over here, I have my potatoes, which I've peeled and washed, chopped in half, ready to add in my tumbukiza. So I'm going to carefully drop in my potatoes. Then next, I'm going to chop my carrots. So I'm going to be chopping the carrots in bite-sized pieces. Place the carrots in the pot as well. Next, I'm going to pick my tomatoes, cut in half. and into large pieces, just like that. I have some onions over here. I'm going to also chop. You want everything to be in bite-sized pieces so that you can enjoy every single bite. Drop in two chilies. Then I'm going to add in some black pepper and salt. Toss everything in the delicious beef broth. Next, you're going to cover and cook until the potatoes are cooked through. Then lastly over here, I have some spinach, which we are going to be adding after everything is cooked and steam for about steam or cook for about a minute or two. So this is a delicious way to enjoy some cozy soup. 
I can't wait for everything to get ready to show you how delicious everything looks. This is how my tumbukiza is looking like at this point. Oh wow, everything is cooking and it's getting tender. You can see the potatoes are breaking apart. That means that the potatoes are also cooked through. So I'm going to throw in my spinach. Use my spatula and stir in the spinach into the broth. Then I'm going to be cooking for one minute. I'm going to serve my tumbukiza in a bowl, so I'm going to start off with some soup that looks absolutely delicious. Then next I'm going to add in some potatoes, beef, spinach and some carrots. Just look at my tumbukiza, this is worth the wait. My tumbukiza is ready and it's looking so perfect. It's looking delicious and let me tell you everything is cooked to perfection. I've served my tumbukiza with some carrot chapati which I made earlier on. You can check the video up here or in the description box. And also I'm going to be giving my tumbukiza a test. Can't wait. Yes. I'm so excited for this. So I'm going to scoop out some soup. Mmm. Mm -mm. This is heaven. Everything is seasoned to perfection. The broth is not super oily. It's just there in between. The Okay, let me have a test. Let me test my potato. Yes, and some carrots. Mm. All the veggies are super tender. My beef is also very tender since I boiled for around two hours, two straight hours. So this is totally worth trying. And once you try the tukumbukiza recipe, you'll be making for your family every single time.